Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 9 of my Minecraft FVP Let's Play. So, today, 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 um, we're going to make an Enderman spawner, because I have been a very busy bee. It's, uh, it's actually been about, how many days? Like, three to four since I've recorded, because I've, um, I've had some real life stuff going on, so I haven't been able to actually record, but I've been able to mine. Well, um, so, as you can see, down here, nope, not this one. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Yeah. Um, I've been clearing out a giant area underneath the desert, sort of, to start setting up some things that I don't want to be on the surface. So, if that makes sense. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put cobblestone along, like, along the edges, over, up, right up here, and then just put sand on top, so, so just to make it look like a desert, and I can have hidden things underneath. Uh, anyway. That's all I've been able to do, pretty much, over the last few days. Just mine and do big holes and stuff. Because I haven't wanted to progress with any of the mods at all until I do it on camera. Because I find it really exciting to show off these mods, because they're really fun. Okay. So, yeah, we burnt that hive. That hive is gone, by the way. Um, completely gone. I destroyed the entire fucking hive. Not a single piece of hive resin left. We do have some hive resin blocks now. Some of the hive resin blocks I couldn't harvest, uh, but I could burn them. So, you know, they just disappeared into nothing. Anyway, so what I wanted to do today was make a Enderman, Enderman spawner. So, the process of making an Enderman spawner, we're going to use our Ender IO to do so. And the way it works, I think, is we need to first make a powered spawner. Which requires a slice and splice, so we'll first do that. So, slice and splice requires... Okay, what do we need? So, we just need a bunch of solarium, which is pretty easy now since we have access to the, to the nether realm. So, I've made a bunch. It just requires um, gold and soul sand. And a machine frame. And any any sort of head. Doesn't matter which head. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of heads uh, right in here. I put them all away because there, there was a weird graphical bug happening. Oh, there they go. Here they are. You know what? I think I know what fixed. I want. I know. What, I know what caused the bug. The current version of AVP. Whenever I place down the assembler over there, I, I actually put it in a chest for now. Um, there's like really weird visual bugs. It's it's really weird. Anyway, cool. I'll make that and I will be back. There's my solarium. Oh wait, can I just do it on camera? No, I got to make a machine frame and some. Okay, yeah, I'll be back. Okay. Um, and slice and splice. Uh, let's just place this over here. That just needs a little bit of energy. Can I just plug this in somewhere, please? Um, do I really need to make a new spot? Come on. Wait, um, I'm not actually using the vat, so... Let me just move that. Slice and splice. Cool. So this needs shears and an axe to work. And then I need to put the ingredients in to get the result. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, you can only put things in the right, in the positions they're meant to go into. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Okay, silicon, there we go. Cool. So now it's going to craft. Um, can I actually upgrade this with a better capacitor? Oh, by the way, um, I figured out these, these weird things that I was finding in dungeon chests. Ancient capacitor, lost capacitor. They're, they're, they're literally just upgrades for the, for the Ender IO machines. They work the same as crafting an actual capacitor. So, I've got my four capacitors that I built over here. These ones. I built these to make things go a lot faster. Um, out of energetic alloys and stuff. But you can use the ones you find in dungeons as well. And they can be even better than these ones. So, cool. Z logic controller. Powered spawner requires some electric steel. Vibrant alloy. A little bit of emeralds. Oh yeah, I made the huge mistake earlier on. Like, over the last few episodes, I've been thinking that emeralds spawn in jungles. So I, <laughs> I spent so much time. Can I, um, can I do this? I can't access. Okay, I have to, actually have to go to the nether realm to show you. But, um, I used nether portals to, tra tra to traverse almost 13,000 blocks in the overworld. Um, and I found a jungle. And then I realized, derp, they don't spawn in jungles, they spawn in extreme hills, and there's one just like 200 meters away from me. So, yeah, I got emeralds now, but that was a very hilarious realization. 
that I'd spent so much trying trying to find a jungle to find emeralds when they were right like 200 meters away from me. Okay. So we want some vibrant alloy, which is just if we can get it right. I'm pretty sure uh, energetic alloy and ender pearls. So I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, pretty sure here that I can actually just do this. That I can convert it straight in the this one. Is that... Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Um, alloys only. <laughs> Whoops! Just fucking wasted some ender pearls. Good job, Yulin. Oh my God, I don't have many. I, I, I actually used, like... Uh, how many was it? Like, six for the elevators over here. <laughs> so, um... There is a better way I want to tra travel using Ender.io than elevators. But I really needed to do the elevators because it was getting annoying mining all the time. So what did these turn into? Yep, portal gun recipe. Good job. Alright, this should work. Yep, it's working! So I don't need to put it in the smeltery. This should give us... Vibrant alloy. Then we can turn the vibrant alloy... To vibrant nuggets. Then we can convert the nuggets... Into things! Chicken nuggets. Bam. Oh, we need one more. Bam. And... Da, 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 da. Electrical steel. And... Uh, some sort of head. Um, there are different tags on these spawners. I can't tell if it depends on which head we use. So I'm going to see if I can save an Enderman just by using an Enderman head to craft this. Does that... Oh, it's still empty. Okay. Powered spawner. Okay, so actually I sort of don't want to waste that then. I thought it would like change the type of spawner it is, but it doesn't. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm not sure if I said this last episode, but it has been a while, so I'm trying to remember things I've already told you guys. You can charge things in here. I can charge my fucking drill in here. <laughs> I've been able to upgrade the drill as well. Um, you just hold shift, right click, and you can make upgrades. Um, out of different things from the actual additions mod. So that's fun. I also made this magnet ring. Which is fucking amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. It's, um, it's like the uh, ring from season three. Um, from Batania, but instead it uses, um, redstone flux. Uses a shit ton of it, by the way. Um, but that's okay. I've, I'm not really using it for anything at the moment until we get the port powered spawner going. Um, there we go. Cool. Powered spawner. And now, pretty sure the way powered spawners work is we need to mix them in an enchantment table with the particular... Hang on, let's just, let's just have a look. Spawn, capture... Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. We need to mix this in, enchant in an enchantment table with... Where the fuck my thing go? What was I doing? I forgot. I don't know, I can't remember what I was doing. Anyway, we need to mix that in an enchantment table with this thing. Cool. I'll leave this over here for now. So, I'm pretty sure I can make an enchantment table from Ender.io, which is pretty neat. Yep, cool. I'll just do that. It might require power. I don't know, I'm just going to put it here anyway. Um, so, bam. Nope, that's not going to work. I can't remember how this works. Oh, it's an anvil! Fucking hell! <laughs> pretty sure there's an anvil as well from Ender.io. It's an open box anvil. I want stark steel anvil. Oh my god, that requires so much dark steel! Nah, but then again, do I really want that? I'll just make a normal anvil. Then, bam, and bam. Hmm. Okay, well, I did, I, I, I did a boo-boo again. Guess we have an anvil and an enchanter now. <laughs> I need a soul binder. Uh, that requires... I have everything I need except for a creeper head and a skeleton head. I think. I might actually have the heads. I just haven't put them up. Please, 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 please. Alright, is it night time? No. Damn it. Okay. Skeleton, zombie. Oh no, I got the skeleton. Thorp. Skeleton, zombie. Okay, I just need a creeper one. 
Creeper head. That's all I need. Okay. Um, pretty sure... There's a weapon from Tinkers that'll allow me to do this a lot easier. So I'm actually going to just craft it, and I will be back, because i got to make all the casts. So, yep. <laughs> well, looks like the cleaver only requires a few different things. I'm not sure if the cleaver changed from the last Tinkers Construct version, but I do know that I'm pretty sure you can attach enderpearls and obsidian. Still? You might still be able to do it, to add beheading onto it. But you know what I'm going to do before I'm an idiot and craft something that I don't need? I'm actually going to have a look. Ah, here it is, beheading. Yep, it's still, um, still as exactly as I expected. Then again, I can just add that onto my current sword. I'm just gonna do that. Fuck it. I may have already made the cast. Two pieces of obsidian. Can I do it onto the current sword? Or did I use all the modifiers already? Have I leveled it up? I have no idea. I haven't used the sword that much. Yep. Uh, beheading. Okay, I could just get one beheading. That's alright. Anvil goes back down. Okay, I'm gonna go find a creeper. Is it nighttime yet? Whatever. Wait, downstairs, downstairs, downstairs. No, oh, creeper. Ho ho ho! First shot, Jesus Christ. Oh, that was easy. Oh my god. And soul binder. Cool. Never used this before, uh, but I do know that you, <laughs> from a quick Google search, <laughs> that this is what you use. Uh, does this require power? Probably. Probably requires power. This thing doesn't require power, does it? I'm gonna move this again. Yeah, it requires power. Um, this can go there. Okay, so it should just be a simple process of finding where I put the thing. Oh, that's right, I put it in here. And then, bam, no, maybe, fuck's sake. Okay, this is a learning process for me, because I've watched other people make these, but then I've forgotten how to do it, so I'm just going through Google at the moment. So I actually need a broken spawner to... um. Pretty sure I have a broken spawner. I've come across a few spawners and I've actually stored one of them. Yep, there it is. Cool. So I just need to combine the broken spawner with that. Use player XP. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, well, that's going to take a while. And then I combine the powered spawner in the anvil that I placed over there. So I do need it. Hooray! We're learning. <laughs> You're learning as well. If you haven't played Ender I.O. I'll be back. <laughs> it's nearly done. <laughs> oh, I can show you guys the bug, by the way. So if I place the assembler down... Oh, 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 we're sick. You can see everything just changed in appearance. Like, everything just went slightly strange. And as you can see, we've got some graphical issues here that are not game-breaking, but it is annoying. Uh, especially when, like, I'm just hanging out and I'm not recording. It gets really annoying just looking at it constantly. So, <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna pick that back up. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. <gasps> Stun! Hooray! Uh, broken spawner. Cool. Empty vial. Anvil, anvil, anvil. Bam. Oh, yep, that's right. And bam. And... Please work. Yay! Yes. Powered Enderman spawner. Yes. Okay. Alright, let's, um... Let's set it up down here. You know what? Let's... Just over here is fine. For now. Um, let's go get a capacitor. I'm pretty sure I have a spare one downstairs. Uh, that I've been using for mining lava. Yep, there it is. I just need to make sure I, um... Give me a second. Just need to make sure it doesn't get burnt when I try to get it. Uh, by the way, this thing is the ranged pump, I think it's called? Ranged pump. Yeah, so it doesn't require too much. But basically, it can... You just place it down, give it power. I don't think it actually needs power in this version. 
But I just put power there anyway, just in case. I don't think it uses the power. I don't know. Anyway. And then it, like, harvests, um, liquid in a giant, like, pretty big radius. So, it takes a while, though. So, you want to place it down, then come back to it later. Okay, cool. So, let's grab this thing. So, I don't want to hook this spawner up to my system yet. It's just so I can get a hold of some ender pearls. Cool. Active with signal. Let's, um, get a lever. So this should be spawning. Yeah, it's going to use a lot of power to spawn. But when it does, I know from testing <laughs> on the test world, um, once it does spawn, it spawns like four or five of them. It's insane. And I've, I've got looting on my sword, by the way. So looting three. So that is amazing. Let's see if this works. And if this works, I am ready to start working on traveling systems using Ender.io. Oh my god, it worked. Oh, oh god. Ooh, how many we get? Seven! Oh my god! <laughs> it works. I'm a genius. I'm just kidding. I'm not a genius. But it works. Um, I'm really happy now. We did it. We have an Enderman spawner. We should make a room for it. Yeah? Time lapse time. Time lapse time. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. No room yet. No room yet. Because I actually want to do a powered spawner, but I want to use it to spawn xenomorphs for experience because they give you a lot of experience. Or Yalcha. I want to create a Yalcha or xenomorph experience farm um, using these things because there's something called the killing Joe, I think. I think. Yeah, the killer Joe. This thingy. You give it a sword, and it fucking goes ape shit on things in front of it, and then we can set up an experience farm. Uh, so yeah, that'll be fun. So uh, I might make it look nice in between episodes. I don't know. Just trying to debate because yeah, I'm trying to debate what sort of theme I want to go for my base, and I don't want to start like making single rooms for single things. I want to establish the theme first. So, we live in the desert. I'm still trying to establish if I want to have a lot of the stuff underground, or a lot of stuff on the top. But... Is there a fucking spider on my house? Come here. Come here, little shit. Yeah, I'm trying to- I'm still trying to decide. By the way, this is what I was talking about with the cobblestone over there, with the big gaps. I just place, like, one layer of netherrack, for instance, or cobblestone, then place sand over the top, so I don't have to waste a lot of sand, and I get to keep all the sand, because sand is good. Okay, alright, so I think that's about it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, there is... Next episode, I want to work on... What's it called? Android thingy, Travely? Travely? Travel? Now we picked up that staff a while ago, called the Staff of Travel. Well... Well, 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 these things are fucking amazing. We're gonna, going to be able to travel large distances very easily. I can get rid of my little setup here with the elevators and shit. So, we'll be able to travel. We can make our base pretty big. And we'll be able to travel in between buildings. Like that. It's going to be amazing. Cool. So, we'll work on that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Adios.